Congratulations on completing your free application for federal student aid, FAFSA. This is a significant step towards securing financial assistance for your education. Now that you've submitted your FAFSA, there are a few important steps to take as you await your financial aid package. After you've submitted your online free application for federal student aid or FAFSA form, it will be processed in one to three days. You may be wondering what you can expect next. Starting in the 2024-25 award year, you'll receive a FAFSA submission summary. To access your FAFSA submission summary, log in to your studentaid.gov account or follow the steps in the email you'll receive confirming your FAFSA submission summary is ready. When viewing your FAFSA submission summary, you will see four tabs. Eligibility Overview, FAFSA Form Answers, School Information, and Next Steps. The first tab will include estimates for the different types and amounts of federal student aid you may be eligible for. Additionally, you will see your Student Aid Index, or SAI. The SAI is an index number calculated using your FAFSA information to determine eligibility for need-based aid. It's the number that your school will use to decide how much financial aid they will offer you. The second tab of the FAFSA Submission Summary includes the answers that you provided on your FAFSA form. Make sure you review the answers carefully. On the School Information tab of your FAFSA Submission Summary, you'll find information about the colleges, career schools, or trade schools that you listed on your FAFSA form. This information includes graduation rate, retention rate, transfer rate, default rate, median debt upon completion, and average annual cost for each school. You can use this information to compare the schools. One of the most important tabs on your FAFSA submission summary is the final tab, Next Steps. Some of the next steps may require action from you, such as starting a correction or sending additional documentation to a school, while others are for your awareness. Make sure you review all the next steps carefully to avoid any issues with your financial aid. If you notice a mistake or error while reviewing the information on your FAFSA submission summary, make sure to submit a correction as soon as possible. To begin a FAFSA correction, you can select the Make a Correction button at the top of the FAFSA Form Answers tab. You can also find the option to make a correction by navigating to the My Activity section of your studentaid.gov account dashboard. Once you've entered the new information, you'll be able to submit your changes. Now that your FAFSA form is processed, the financial aid offices at the schools you listed on your form will use your FAFSA information to prepare your financial aid package. We'll cover more details about what you could expect to receive from schools in our next video, Where's My Financial Aid?